here we are at the Hampton Inn in Seattle, Washington. Actually, in Kent, and we're, I'm going to do a hotel tour. This is the high rise elevator lever. So, let's go in. And here's the main entrance. There's an interesting security feature over here on the wall for late night. There is a security panel with a car heater and a call button. Here we are. This is the main lobby and check-in area with seating. And here's the fa my favorite part of the hotel. Aha. Welcome to the Otis Series 5 elevators. I don't think these have ever been filmed. I'm going to check, but I don't think so. Here we go. I'm now waiting on one to come down. Let's take a step back and just view the whole elevator system. Ah, it's the left one. There's a back door over there. Oh, hello. We're going to go up 2 4. Oh, crap. I did not mean to hit 3. See, the difference between this elevator and the other one, I didn't mean to hit 3. This one has a rear door. This is bigger. Look. There's a service door here. I really, really wish I had my key. I have an Otis UTA, and I could have gotten there just to look at it. I could have opened that up, but. Now that one next to the phone, I think that's a tiny little card reader, I think, right there. I don't know. I think that's it. Right, I'm going to get the other one after I take a trip on this just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm going to go down to one and close. Interestingly, in Seattle Airport, um, I filmed an elevator that had the braille upside down. I don't need to get a cab here. And I'm gonna send this one up to four. There's an LCD indicator. Right, here we go. Here it goes. Now the machinery for the elevator is actually inside the, uh, not guest laundry, but the employee laundry. Right here, here's the second elevator, car two. We're gonna close the door. And you can listen to the motor of the LR elevator from here, you can hear it, listen. Here goes our motor. Beautiful. See, these are Series 5. The other one is a different layout. Here we are at 4. I'm going to head back down to 1. We're going to go see some interesting parts of the hotel. I'm going to go do the first floor hotel tour. Oh, listen, there's the vacuum cleaner. There was a vacuum on floor three that we just passed near the elevator lobby. Here we are on one. First floor of the hotel. Now, as I said earlier, let me switch hands here. Walk out and head this way is the hotel's back door. Now, not knowing whether or not this door is locked on the outside, I mean, yeah, oh, the door is locked, but my key should open it. If I can get my key out, this is my room key, and it should unlock the door. I'm not going to close it. 
There, look. My key opens that door. Flip that closed. Let's go take a tour. Starting with the business center and the office area. Here we are in the hallway of the hotel that has six rooms on the first floor. Hotel rooms, but in this part they have a sales office on the right. Over here. Here. It's the business center. I'll let you look at the sign. Now we're gonna go in. Watch me open the door. Oops. Hey. Hi. We're all set. That's all you want. I'm just looking around. Oh, it's the business center. I know it is. <laughs> I can read Braille. Oh, okay. The sign on the door says business center. Oh, okay. I know. Then leave. I'm gonna go examine it for myself now. Left. See, here's the door. I'm gonna put my key in here. There, the door is open now. Here is the hotel business center. There's a clock. There's computers, basically chairs. What you'd expect to find in a normal business center. So I'm gonna head back out. I'm gonna show you the employee part that I can't get in. And then over here is employee laundry. Take a look. There's a code on the door. It's a, t it's a ten character panel. It's probably a four digit combination to unlock this long door to the employee laundry, which is also where, ironically, the um, left elevator opens. And the machine room for the elevators is also behind that door inside the employee laundry. There's the employee lounge. And over here to guest laundry, which you cannot get in. And the first floor ice machines and mechanic rooms. Here's the guest laundry room. I was unable to get in here. See? You can look inside. This thing says guest laundry. But, sadly, my key doesn't work. So, we're not going in there. I see a 630... Oh, 06... Gee, what's that? Six, nine, a.m. or something? Whoa. Oh, six a.m. to Gee, what's that? Yeah, I cannot read that. Sorry. Oops, so I'm not reading that. It's raised print, but I can't decipher it, so I'm not going to bother. Alright, back into this hallway. We're going to pass the sales office on the left and the area behind that has their sales. Now we're going to go take another stroll down past the elevators. Because there's still two parts of the hotel left before the room. I'm going to try and do the room this time. First things first, I have to get my dad out of it. So it's going to be in a separate clip. There's no way I can help that. Of course, my dad's, I'll just say it now, my dad's not usually in a good condition to be on camera. So. This is the breakfast area. We passed. We're in the breakfast area there. One of the entrances of it. I believe this is us. Or, wait. The next one down is this. Right down here. Now, 
Oh, it's one too far. That's so cool. I want fitness in there. Which is right back here. Oh, no. Ah, right here. There's the sign in the window. It says fitness center on it. And I'm going to open the fitness center now. That's weird. That is weird. Why is my key not working? Alright, this is, this is not pretty. Great. That's not good. My key was just working. Hope I didn't demagnetize it. Not in the first day of staying in the hotel. What's wrong with this door? Good. That'll add to the length of the video. So on like try number 10 or 12, no, probably 12, I get into the fitness center. <sighs> that was great. Now, here are some, uh, I think these are machines here, treadmill. Uh -huh. Step up here on the treadmill. Let's see here. Huh. So this is one of the treadmills they have for operation. I'm not going to mess with it, but I'm just going to examine it there. I have other machines in here that I can't see. I can't see anything that I'm... My camera's looking at. They probably have TVs or stuff in here, but again, I can't see it. We're heading down. At the end here, there's more stuff. I think these, those are weights there. And there's more over there. Sorry, but I can't see. But it finally got in. Now I'm going to head over to my favorite part of the hotel. Besides the elevator. The indoor pool. Let's go. And this video so far is uncut. I've, I'm only on clip one. I didn't edit out any of the trouble that I've had. So that makes it more authentic. Alright, well, I'm going to do the room on this separate video, but here's the indoor pool. Let's take a look through the window. And here is the card reader. Pray to God my key works this time. Let's see. door is heavy. Here is the most dangerous part of the hotel. 
is the indoor pool. We can just smell the chlorine, and I can't see what the depth is on this thing over there. There, I think, is the pump room, but there's no grill signs on there. That's also where the door goes from the outside. That's how it's supposed to go. It's just a short trek down to the fitness center. I'm gonna check that one one more time. Good. All right. I'm gonna try guest laundry one more time. Then I'm gonna do another trip on that up here. Just one of them, whichever one I can get. Probably the left one. That's the one I want. Here we are back in the hall. Let you see my watch. Let me check it. Braille watch I have. It is 10.05 a.m. Seattle time. Because that is where I am. I'm in Kent right now, which is a little suburb of Seattle, a few miles south of the airport. I'm gonna try this door one more time. Let's see if it works. This one's giving me trouble. guest laundry. I was having trouble with my key, but let's see what's this. That's a seat. Oh, they got a table and chairs in here. That's weird. Ever seen guest laundry with a table and chair? Hold on. I've got my cane tangled up in my cords. So on the table and my cane on the table. There. Let me free my cord. Alright, that was interesting. It's a really small guest laundry room. Got a couple of machines in it. Another intercom then. And now Let's go back to the old theater. Got in. Passing the first floor ice machines, and I'll show you the ice machines on floor four. I'm on three, but my room's three eleven. But I'm gonna go up to four because that's my favorite floor. No, it's at the top. Hotel is not it's not high rise, but I will be filming high rises today, Friday, Friday, July twenty fifth, two thousand and fourteen. I will be filming Space Needle and hopefully Columbia Center. Right. Which one? I'm gonna set this one up. Really do want to go. Let's watch it go. Thank you. 
listen to the motor of the other elevator in here. Hello. Sweet, this. You hear the motor in the other elevator, it's about to stop. Let's go up to four, listen. Where I sincerely wish I had my Otis UTA. <sighs> Let's see, there's the indicator. Oh, I forgot to do that. It's my turn to rectify that. I think the indicator has a firefighter's cap. Where's the dead new indicator? Right there. There's the indicator. I'm going to just. I think that's the indicator. I'm just That is messed up on too. Y'all are going down. I got the door for you. Can you hear that motor? Hope you enjoy your vacation in Seattle. Have a good day. Y'all heading out? Yeah. This, yeah. Where y'all heading? Where are you going? Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're going to 1R. Moises, ayúdalo, no puede bajar. I'm going up. Oh, that's a UTA. Sweet. Alright, so now I know what that is. That switch is the independent service. They, that, they used a UTA key. I think, or is that fire? Or maybe that was just the floor locker. I'm not sure. They used the UTA. Sweet, they got to see the back opened. Thanks. <laughs> so, they got to see one R opened. That's the interesting way to do it. Here's four. I'm gonna get out here. All right. On the normal hotel floor. Uh, uh, here. Ice machines, the ice machine rather, is right here. One more hotel floor. Very simple. I'll take this up later. Come on. Yeah, you bet. Let's see, where's the inspection switch for these? Because where do they keep the inspection? So the switch is like for inspection. No, it's on the inspection station. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, sweet. You can listen to the motor. Alright, shh. I'm gonna go to two and one because two was weird the way it sounded stopping. So let's see if it does it again. Come on. Nope, it didn't. Y'all going down? Guess not in here, they're not. I'm going to end up on three.
in this uh, number three. Listen to that motor. It's a great motor. Get one last cap here, and I'm gonna exit through the rear. There it goes. No. Oh, there's where the drop key is. Here's the hotel hallway. This room 311. And for this part of the hotel tour, that's it. Here I am finishing my hotel tour with a room tour. My key's not working. There. There we go. This is the room. Just be quick. There are the beds. TV, dad's suitcase. This will be quick because battery's about to die. Let me turn the lights on. Quick view in there. Quick view in the bathroom. And my battery is about dead. So I'm going to have to call it a quits here. I won't be able to do anything special, but this is my hotel room, 311 Hampton Inn, Kent, Washington. And that's it.